Hello, so today is Friday, July 19th of 2024, and um, I hear someone cutting some, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but it sounds like they're cutting tile, maybe. It sounds very familiar. <clears throat> As you guys know, we did a lot of construction at our house, I'm going to walk towards that. I don't know if it's our neighbor's. Or, yeah, it is. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's, it's hard to say, but I think it is a tile saw. Oh, I think I see our neighbors sitting outside. I'm going to go find out if they're our neighbors because we haven't introduced ourselves yet. All right, um, so I came inside the house and got cooled off and I kind of did gave a quick brief lowdown to Hadid so he knew a little bit about the neighbors and <clears throat> and then tonight they're doing an event in the park um I guess there is gonna which uh, I somehow either miss the email or I'm not paying attention could be both right <laughs> um but I um I'm gonna sit down here so I have a place to uh, to rest my elbow while I'm holding my phone the camera um but I guess there's gonna be an event tonight um down at the park let's see if I can find the gazebo there that's the gazebo so <clears throat> they're gonna do an event there tonight bring in the food trucks there's gonna be a band and someone singing I could wait and record some of that but I think you guys get the gist if it's like a super awesome singer or an excellent band, I'll still record and then I'll clip it into tomorrow's video. Um, <clears throat> but so far I've noticed a lot of the bands that they have come in and the singers, it's catering to the older crowd. Um, well, let's think about it. The older crowd typically has more money and this is a very affluent area. so. As we know, money controls and money derives um, people and the influences their decisions. Um, I personally don't agree with that motto, but that's how our world is running. Everything in it, right? So, um, I that's obviously not the model that the Lord wants. Can't control that. So, I'm guessing the the people who support um the singers and the bands that come into our neighborhood the ones that go to the gazebo over there um they are they probably come from more of the affluent crowd or whatever and so they have more influence on the venues the events <clears throat> so we'll see but if it's a really good band I will do a clip of the band. Um, I, yeah, we'll see. I was actually, I wanted to go to the store because we really need to restock our freezer and our fridge. I had to throw so much stuff out. I had to throw out the mayonnaise and the eggs and <clears throat> all of the well ranch dressing, any of the dressings that had dairy in them. I actually use an alternative source of dairy. I use almond milk, but I just, I, I don't want to risk anything. So I threw a bunch of stuff away. And so now I need to restock everything. So I have a long shopping list that we need to go and restock our refrigerator and our freezer. Um, <clears throat> I noticed that the chicken breast that I had bought from Costco is one solid piece um, which means that the chicken breast most likely defrosted and then it it like defrosted so it was all the ice turned to water and then it refroze when we got our electricity back on I don't want to risk it so I'm gonna throw that chicken out on the next garbage day which means I need to replace the chicken which is kind of a bummer <laughs> but again um, it could have been way worse. It's food. We can replace it. And yeah, it is what it is. So today I wanted to, um, I guess just remind you, not just, 
but remind you just how much I love you, how proud I am of you guys. You guys are, like I've said before, you're my heroes. Um, you guys are having to go through and endure something that no child should have to, and that's being separated from one of their parents, father or mother. It doesn't matter which one. However, some people may argue that being separated from a mother is more, it's harder <clears throat> to go through. Um, one of the things that I have noticed um, as I'm listening to, and I'm going to do a shout out again. I've talked about him, but he really does have a lot of really good information. Tim Fletcher, F-L-E-T-F. T C H E R. So F L E T C H E R. Tim Fletcher. If you um, look for him in YouTube, type in Tim Fletcher Complex Trauma because he has a lot of really good information out there. And I just got done listening to a video about shame, and then there was one about, um, I think it was betrayal and rejection. I think it. Hmm. <clears throat> something like that. I think I'll post the link in the comments and then also in the description. But it's talking about um, how... Um, okay, I had, to pose, I had to pause this for a second because it's not... It, I listened to one that was specific to shame and then I listened to one that was specific to abandonment. And that is what I believe a lot of the parental alienation, um, the people are children and adults who are going through parental alienation, they should listen and um, definitely listen to this about um, abandonment. But what I believe is going on in parental alienation is a form of abandonment. Um, now, some people will, will argue and say, well, abandonment of the parent who has no contact with the child. That the child feels abandoned by that parent because um, they have no contact with that parent. And that is very true. Um, even though that parent is doing or has done everything they can to be in connection with that child, <clears throat> the alienator does a really great job at manipulating the child um, in most cases I'm not going to say every case but in most cases to unfortunately make the child feel that the parent has abandoned them and um, if, if it's not that way you can look at the table, turn the table another way. Could the child who is separated from the other parent, could that child feel abandoned from the alienator in this situation? Could the child feel that their father has abandoned their emotional needs, their physical needs, their um, mental, physical, I mean, all of their needs, right? Because there is this innate belief <clears throat> that everyone has that they're supposed to be in connection with the mother and with the father, biological, okay? So if there's this innate feeling that they are supposed to be in connection with both parents, but it's not happening, then they could feel regardless if if the um, alienator um, and when I say alienator that is the parent who has all the connection with a child um, the, the parent who is being alienated that is the the parent who has no connection with a child um, so if a child feels that they're supposed to or believes because there's an innate belief within them that they're supposed to be in connection with both their biological mother and biological father, which that is what God designed us for, regardless of how it is happening, if it's intentional, unintentional, maybe there was a death in the family, the child could easily feel, and or feel, the child could easily believe that 
the parent who they're spending all their time with, which we call the alienator, is abandoning the child's um, innate need for both parents to be in their life. So either way, unfortunately, the child who is being alienated will feel abandoned by both parents because there will be this internal belief in them that, that they will, even if they don't outwardly say it to a counselor or to anyone, there will be this internal belief in them that they have been abandoned by both parents because there is a need, there is a desire that God had created, an innate desire for them to be in connection with both biological mother and biological father. But here's the, the next step to this. God created an innate belief within each of his children to be in connection with him. So when it comes to parental alienation, and I've talked about this before, that ultimately we are being alienated, not everybody, but most of this nation, most of the people are being alienated from the, their creator, from Father God. And so, again, there's this innate belief in them, like deep belief within them, that they're supposed to be in connection, right, with a mother and a father. They have the same thing. They have an innate belief within them that they're supposed to be in connection with their creator. And that is first and foremost. But instead, the world makes them believe that the secondary, which is in connection with their biological mother or connection with their biological father, that that is the most important thing. When the most important thing is that God created each one of his children, sons and daughters, to be in connection with him. And Satan is doing such a damn, excuse my language, Satan is doing everything he can to make us believe that God wants no connection with us, that he doesn't want anything to do with us, that we have been abandoned by him, that um, we should be ashamed of what we have chosen to do, or maybe even ashamed of what has happened to us. So he keeps this per perpetuating, this um, continuing cycle of parental alienation. It just keeps going. And it's the same thing of what's happening to the children in parental alienation situations with their mother or their father. And in this situation, it's with me, your mother. Um, but like I said, the biggest picture is being alienated from our creator, who is Father God in heaven. And um, wow, even just talking about this right now was kind of uh, mind opening. Um, to what I believe is going on in the bigger picture and I have been feeling this for a while that um, that what is happening in my situation and your situation Warren and Clara and even Wyatt is a bigger picture um, and I've been asking the Lord to show me his heart um, for Father God to show me his heart for his children his sons and daughters and to increase my ability to forgive, increase my ability to extend mercy. Um, and this is, he's answering my prayers. I'm going to end with this. I'm going to end with a prayer. And I just want you guys to know I love you. Um, <clears throat> I have never abandoned you. I never will abandon you. Ever, ever, ever. All three of you guys. Wyatt, Warren, and Clara. I love you guys. I will never leave you. Just like your Father God will never leave you or forsake you. We may not um, be able to do everything perfectly. Or not we. I'm not speaking on God's behalf because he can. But I may not be able to do everything perfectly. But I can tell you that I love you. And I will do everything that I know that I can through the ability of Jesus Christ to bring us back together and redeem this situation and it's spiritual everything's spiritual the lord just keeps reminding me of this 
I love you guys. I'm going to end in a prayer. Father God, I just thank you so much for allowing me to be a mother three times over. I am so grateful and I am so blessed for that. I thank you, Father God. Lord, I pray. Lord, may your will be done here on earth as is in heaven, especially in this situation with Wyatt, Warren, and Clara. Lord, we ask that you shine your illuminating light of King Jesus, the light of the truth upon the situation. And Lord, I ask that you reunite me with, with Warren and Clara soon. I just thank you, Father, in your heavenly name. Amen. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I miss you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.